you know, Arbor's a 22-year-old brand, so it's got a lot of history and a lot of, a lot of legacy in the market. It's got a great logo. Uh, the logo hadn't been touched in 22 years, though, so it was a little bit of a challenge. And how do you how do you refresh that and and bring it uh, you know up to the modern day and, and still remain classic and, and respectful of, of where it came from? So my name is Mike Messink. I'm one of the new owners here at Arbor Brewing Company. Uh, we got to know Matt and Renee just through kind of common friends and. We, we've got a vineyard up north, we've got a hop farm up in northern Michigan. We were actually already looking at getting into the brewing business when we started talking to Matt and Renee. And we kind of struck up a friendship and one thing led to another and ended up working out to, to buy them out as they were looking to, to expand in India. So yes, yeah, so we got involved with Arbor uh, mid-2017 and have just been looking at, at plans for growing and scaling it up from there. We've been making a lot of investments and a lot of upgrades in the brewery in the last six months. Um, really focused on first and foremost the quality of the beer. Um, it was already at a high level but we want to take it take it even further so we've been focusing a lot on, on shelf stability, getting brewery fresh beer as, as fresh as it is here at the brewery into the package and on the shelf for customers um, and that's a challenge. Beer wants to be great. When you put it in the package it's got a, it's got a shelf, uh, shelf life on it. Uh, that was a big reason of the switch to cans for us. Cans are just a better package for preserving beer. My name is Danny Boy. I'm Director of Brewery Operations here at Arbor Brewing Company, Microbrewery in Ypsilanti, Michigan. I was very excited. We knew it wasn't going to be easy when um, we saw the winter storms coming in. Uh, and commissioning any big projects and any heavy equipment when not only you're dealing with a myriad of factors outside of Mother Nature, um, it was a challenge and uh, the crew did a great job uh, keeping their chin up and just um, rolling with the punches and there were a lot of punches. And it, was, uh, it was a little tricky. Um, apparently the load shifted on the way uh, here and we noticed that there was a bent fitting that landed on uh, one of the um, support pieces. Uh, so we ended up um, enlisting the help of a couple other operators that uh, assist us across the street at Bay Logistics. Uh, those guys were great and helped us in the frigid temperatures uh, to unload a 8,500 pound filling, <laughs> filling line. Um, but yeah, I think um, you know it was a team effort. Everybody was in it for all the right reasons, beer. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, we got it inside uh, safely. It might have had a little bit of a scratch to it uh, when we finally got it hooked up, but uh, everything runs uh, as intended. Yeah, it's a big machine and it, we were shoehorning it into the building to a certain extent, but yeah, that's a brand new state-of-the-art canning line and we think really helps us up our game on, on the packaged product. So um, not only are those cans a great canvas for the, for the brand and the new branding that we have, but the beer that we're getting out of those cans is, is top-notch. I mean, it, everything that we're doing back there is really in service of the quality of beer. Uh, we chose to partner with Palmer Canning. They've been great to work with. Um, anytime we need any parts or assistance, um, you know, it'll be here the next day, and that's a benefit that um, we, you just can't even quantify the, the, the value of that. There's always fitment issues, uh, you know, when you finally get it into your space, uh, into its forever home, um, and just really trying to, um, trying not to let the little details hold you up too much. John Wagner, I'm the head brewer here at uh, Arbor Brewing Company. Um, you know, it's been fantastic. You know, we threw out the idea uh, a couple years ago about moving from bottles to cans, uh, largely because of um, the benefit that cans give to the beer, no light, no oxygen. Um, and that's just kind of the way the market's been going. So far, the everything is, is uh, as we had as we had hoped it, hoped it would be. Um, we're getting quality fills. We're getting quality beer coming out of the uh, the end of the line. Uh, right now, we're going to can. We're going to start releasing our three uh, our three year rounders. 
Um, so our Buzzsaw IPA, our Euchre Pilsner, and our Strawberry Blanc. Um, and the new packaging looks phenomenal. The new rebranding looks phenomenal. Um, we really, uh, I think, hit the mark and kept the integrity of the brand. And, uh, you know, like, again, the heritage of a 22-year-old craft brewery in Michigan. Um, we're, we're super excited about those releases um, being available year-round, as well as uh, the next seasonal beer that's going to drop uh, first quarter is going to be our Pharisee uh, Dry Stout. Um, and I think our customers are going to be really excited when they see Pharisee cans, uh, as well as all of our cans out on the, out on the shelves uh, in 2018. We're going to see some new kettle soured beers come online, uh, rotating IPA series. So each time we make that beer, it'll tie to a, one of the seasons. Uh, but what that'll allow us as brewers to do is experiment with some new hops or some new hopping methods, uh, some different grain bills as well. So switch it up, um, pair the beer to the season, but keep something new and fresh coming to the market. From John, our head brewer here at the brewery, to Chris, our brewer at the brew pub, Danny Boy, and the whole production team here. It's really a great team. Um, they've been rolling up their sleeves and, and really getting after it with putting this new canning line in and a lot of the changes coming. Um, yeah, we've, we've got a, a great brewing team here that's just been making fantastic beers, and, and we're really looking forward to giving them the tools and, and getting new equipment in here to, to do even more and, and push the boundaries even further. We've got a few projects on the horizon. Uh, one is we're looking to open a new t uh, tap room in Plymouth. So we just signed a lease on that and looking to open that probably second half of 2018. And we're also looking at expansion here at the brewery in Ypsilanti. Um, so we're specking out a much larger um, state-of-the-art production system right now. And it's not going to fit in the building as it is. So that's going to involve an expansion to the building, some upgrades to front of house and the, and the tap room here as well. But we've got a lot of, lot of big stuff coming for 2018.